Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometry, or more simply, FTICRMS. It's a type of mass spectrometry that is used to identify and characterize molecules. We have already looked at a lot of different mass spectrometry techniques on the channel, linked to the playlist by the end of this video, but this is by far the mass analyzer with the highest resolution that we have looked at so far. But before I explain why it has such a high resolution, let us quickly look at the different parts of mass spectrometry so you better understand how FDICR fits in. So mass spectrometry generally consists of an ion source, a mass analyzer and some type of detector and it displays its results in a mass chromatograph that looks something like this. If you want to understand mass spectrometry better, I recommend you check out this video. FTICR is a type of mass analyzer, and to explain how it works, it might help if you think back to how a magnetic sector mass spectrometer works. If you remember, in a magnetic sector mass spectrometer, the ion gets curved along its flight path due to a magnetic force. How much the ion curves depends on the magnetic field strength and, more importantly, the size of the ion. The relationship is displayed in this formula, but to make it more intuitive, you can think of a large and a small boat and consider how much force is needed in order for them to turn. So. If you think about this, there's going to be a lot more force required in order for the large ship to turn compared to the smaller boat. So hopefully that makes sense. And this is the exact same thing here. So here is a simplified explanation of the FTICR process. A sample is introduced into the mass spectrometer and ionized, typically using electrospray ionization, which simply turns the sample into gas phase ions. Electrospray ionization is something I discuss in greater detail in this video. The ions are then trapped in a magnetic field and excited by an RF or radio frequency field. The vibrational frequencies of the ions are dependent on the size of the ions and are measured using these two detectors. The data is collected and analyzed using Fourier transform algorithms which converts the vibrational frequencies into a mass spectrum that shows the relative abundance of ions at different masses. The reason why FTICR achieves such a high resolution is that every revolution, or in other words, each time the ion completes a spin in the device, we get another point of measurement. This results in an incredibly high resolution of the device. In fact, even above 2 million, which is just beyond anything we've seen on any of these other mass spectrometry devices. Now, all the videos that I have mentioned in this video can be found in the playlist displayed on the screen. So in case there was anything that felt unclear or that you want to understand better, please check it out. Until next time.